It's a story you'll see only right here. Our KXOI4 news crew turns crime fighters. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nadine Woodward. Spokane police are crediting a KXOI4 news crew with tailing a car prowler until officers could arrest him. Jesse Johnson, whose criminal history dates back a decade, was spotted dashing across Division Street, but his getaway was cut short and caught on camera by one of our photographers. KXY4's Jeff Humphrey joins us now live at Coins Plus where this chase got its start. Jeff? And Nadine, we were just heading out the Division Street Hill when suddenly we saw a guy sprint across all six lanes of Division Street traffic with a big bag of loot in his hands. The crew from Coins Plus was chasing him on foot. We thought it might be a little bit easier to do it in a live truck. It started when an employee checking surveillance cameras here at Coins Plus noticed someone rummaging through their boss's Honda in the back parking lot. The employee came outside and started to give chase and that's when you guys got involved. During this slow speed pursuit, Johnson repeatedly told us he had done nothing wrong but wouldn't stop trying to get away either. So now we're going to be southbound on Lidgewood. Photographer Brian Belanger shot this cell phone video while a 911 dispatcher fed patrol officers information about Johnson's location. You got on the phone with uh, Crime Check or 911? and stayed on the line with them while officers came into the area. By the time Officer Gately took Johnson into custody, he had traveled five blocks, ditching his loot bag and sporting a white t-shirt instead of his black hoodie. Police say they always appreciate a little help from the public. I actually saw him take off one shirt and uh, got the color of his second shirt, uh, had him pinned down in an alley and uh, advised me and let me know that he was here and uh, found him in a backyard where he jumped a fence. Hey, listen, I, I didn't do anything. Please don't take me to jail. Man. Johnson denies the car prowling but is a repeat offender and was shot by Spokane police two years ago after he pointed a gun at some people on the porch of this Mission Avenue home. With his prior history and we'll do some extra paperwork and yeah, hopefully he'll stay behind bars a little bit longer. Johnson recently bonded out of jail for allegedly violating a no contact domestic violence order. His arrest today, hopefully Nadine, will make it more difficult for him to get out in the future. Reporting live in North Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXOY4. All right, job well done. Thanks so much, Jeff.